The endospore stain is useful for detecting endospore-forming bacteria. Endospores are inclusions inside of cells that are very resistant to heat, chemicals, and radiation. Later, sometimes much later, under favorable conditions, spores can germinate to again form vegetative cells. Because a thick coat covers an endospore, it does not take up stain easily, and it is necessary to heat the smear in the presence of stain to force it into the endospore. After cooling, the slide is exposed to safranin in a second counter stain, which stains vegetative cells. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the endospore stain. To do an endospore stain, a smear is first prepared as outlined in smear preparation. Then, a paper toweling is cut to a dimension larger than the smear, but smaller than the edge of the slide. This allows a large amount of stain to be placed on the smear and prevents the stain from drying out. When doing an endospore stain, a water bath has to be set up. Here at UW-Madison, we find it useful to just set up a Bunsen burner and a heating plat burner on top of it, put a simple metal or aluminum cup. It is important to let the water bath get to a high temperature. Steam should be rising from the water bath before you start the malachite green stain. Once the water bath is boiling, a large amount of malachite green is added to the slide and the slide is stained for five minutes. It is important to watch the slide carefully during the staining to prevent the malachite green from completely evaporating and ruining the slide. Oi! We wouldn't want that now, would we mate? Again, as shown here, it is often necessary to add extra stain during the five minute boiling period. After five minutes, the slide is taken from the boiling water bath, allowed to cool, and the malachite green is removed. A wash with water then removes any excess malachite green. Mind the stains there. You don't want to get them on your fingers or your clothes, because they don't come out. Malachite green will not bind well to vegetative cells, and it is necessary to counterstain. In the protocol used here, safranin is used as the counterstain. This staining can be done at room temperature. Finally, the slide is rinsed with water and blotted dry using a soft paper towel or blotting paper. Pictured in this slide is the endospore forming bacteria Bacillus cereus. You can see long chains of pink cells and inside many of them green endospores. <laughs> 